Welcome back, True Believers, to another Spider-Man PS4 related video. And before I begin, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the Spidey Bugle. This man, the Spidey Bugle, is the man of the millennium of the century, of all time, of all ages, for all Spidey fans. He is a true justice warrior for us as Spider-Man fans, especially for the fans of Spider-Man PS4, because I don't think I would have discovered this image without him, and he has been on Twitter, on Insomniac Games' Twitter, promoting this image, getting the word out, spreading it all to us fans to see and feast our eyes upon, and for that I say thank you, sir, you are amazing, you deserve way more subscribers than me, and um, you are just one of the coolest YouTuber, YouTubers I have ever had the privilege of knowing and getting to know as well as all of you guys who decide to watch these videos again you all mean the world to me that goes for the people who just watch these videos who subscribe who even have their own youtube channels like uh you know the spidey bugle and spidey skater boy michael stretch legit mhx shocked others all you guys are incredible i just felt felt like i have to say that again because of how amazing all of you are and how you need to know that because you are amazing and it is true and before I show you the, the image that uh, the Spidey Bugle showed all of us, this is where the Spidey Bugle said he got it from. He said this is the quote-unquote source of this image, Darkos underscore 921. <laughs> and uh, he apparently, I don't know if it's a leaked image or if this was the image that was from the GameStop Expo today, which if it was, I <coughs> told you so. <coughs> um, but if it is the GameStop image... Um, that's crazy because they only had, I believe, an hour of Sony stuff, it's like Sony exclusive stuff like Days Gone, Horizon Zero Dawn, and, you know, I made a video about hyping up GameStop Expo because I thought we would see a trailer maybe for Spider-Man PS4, and same thing with the uh, uh, Sony PS4 Pro unveiling meeting, They everyone told me to not get my hopes up. And again, whether that is a screenshot, a trailer, a demo, whatever it is of Spider-Man PS4, I am excited either way and fully just blown away that we actually got something related to the game because of how this image definitely looks like it comes from the game. If those of you who are saying it does not look like it comes from the game, I don't know you would think that. The art style looks the same. And also there is a structure that looks exactly similar to the one that we saw earlier in the ps4 pro clip because this looks like the exact image that we saw in the ps4 pro clip except now it's in nighttime which is beautiful we have never seen the full capacity of what the ps4 could do for a free roam new york city of that of spider-man and look how beautiful this looks. I know I'm, I apologize for this bad picture quality, but I will put the link in the description for the picture in this video, and you can all feast your eyes upon it and just behold its wondering, amazing showcasing of New York at night. And another thing is, is that this may look familiar to you because of how this is the exact same place that the PS4 Pro clip showed. Um, it's near that Spring Street area, and I think you can even see some of the street names right over there. You can see a couple street signs right there. I don't know if that's Thompson and Spring Street. Uh, those might be other streets, but it's amazing because that is the, stat the same statue that we saw in the PS4 Pro clip. Of course, the night light is breathtaking with the lights from inside of the buildings to the street lights to the building uh, lights outside of the front entrance to even the car lights on the ground. It's beautiful. Like, I'm not kidding you. I know this may sound extreme, but like when I first saw this image, I knew it was of Spider-Man PS4, but I actually thought I was looking at real life New York City at nighttime just because of how the people are oriented right there, how the cars are packed. There are packed cars like bumper to bumper basically because of New York traffic, even at nighttime, because of course, New York is the city that never sleeps, the Big Apple. So you would expect that out of a fully next generation New York. And even the small details over here, you can't really see it because of this bad video quality. But right there, you can see like garbage in the alleyways. You can see like packages of garbage just scattered across the floor there. You can see bags of garbage just kind of speckled around the area right there. And of course, the lighting, of course, is breathtaking. The rays that is just just showcasing off of how a high-quality, fully developed game from Insomniac Games at this level, meaning at uh, an exclusive PS4 game with all the hardware imaginable on a fully next-generation console. It is insane. 
the detail of the city, I think, I'm sorry for you Batman fans, but I think it might top Arkham Knight and even Infamous because this kind of also reminds me of Infamous in a way. Just because of how everything is lit at nighttime, I would imagine like you would see Fetch kind of running around at night with her neon abilities and you would see the neon kind of in the sky because Infamous Second Son looked beautiful. I think is one of the most gorgeous games of all time, especially if you take the usage of the photo mode, which by the way, if this is just a pure screenshot, that's really cool. Um, but th if this is the use of the photo mode in the game, if there is one, I am going to cry because that is a feature that I really want in the Spider-Man game is photo mode just to be able to take amazing screenshots of Spider-Man and New York City, especially at nighttime. And this relates to another video that I did, which I'll put in the description, if there will be a seamless day to night cycle. Because on Twitter, people are saying that this is the day, the day and night cycle again. It is nighttime, yes, but we don't know if it is going to be like GTA uh, or even uh, Witcher, I guess you could also say, where the day and night are seamless. You don't have to load the game over and over again to switch the times of day. I want it to be if you stand still in the middle of the New York City street as Spider-Man or if you're just sitting on a rooftop, the day will go on as it is real life. Like you, It will go in the day, then go to dawn, then go to dusk, then go to sunset, then go to night, and it would be perfect if they were be able to do that um i made a whole video about it I'll, I'll put that in the description so you guys can check it out but right now i think this looks gorgeous everything from the detail of the buildings by the way which you can even see inside of these windows people think those are curtains and stuff or like drapes no i think those are actually the interiors of the building because of how you can kind of see like the wall kind of like not paint drizzled down but kind of like the the wariness of the inside of that building i think on how just crazy detailed everything is. You can even see what is inside of that store right there in the far distance of this image. Uh, that little mannequin shop right there because, again, this is the same street that we saw in the PS4 Pro clip. And it's just at nighttime and this looks gorgeous. Again, I think I feel like I'm in New York City just by looking at this. Let me know what all your thoughts are in the comment section down below, true believers. Make sure to keep your spidey senses tingling for this channel for more Spider-Man related videos. And stay spectacular, everybody. Peace out.